gold and silver traded with little swings today we have seen gold sliding towards 24 84 86 zone and silver towards 27 75 80 before recovering strongly on the upside we have seen it getting resistance at 28 20 20 which is proven now to be a greater resistance we have discussed this few hours back in our asia and europe session update now what to expect with the us session today where to enter where to exit how to profit trading gold and silver everything we're gonna see with the help of charts and indicators this is the second update for the day to get the notifications do press the bell icon do subscribe to the channel do like share and comment join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort let's start first to look into gold followed with silver watch if you look at the early charts of gold, the movement is simple, drop, retracement towards 20 period, drop, retracement towards 20 period, slightly highs. And see, uh, it is staying in the box here on the downside now, 24, 84, 86 zone proven out to be greater resistance. On the upside, 2500, 2502 is a greater resistance. So this support and resistance zone, it needs to give a breakout of. And thus, once it stays above 2502, you can initiate a buying entry. But even if you're buying at 2502, you have to be cautious and alert of 25, 0, 25, 10, 25, 16 and 25, 20, 22. Even beyond that, 25, 26 and 25, 30 are two critical levels which it needs to break in order to establish. Right now, I can say after the drop, it is staying in the zone and it should give a breakout very, very soon. A possibility of a little retracement on the upside cannot be denied as the crossover here in the moving average definitely is a bearish sign here. If you look at the stock, I think this is rising. The MACD has crossed over here at the bottom. It appears that it could, uh, it would like to retrace a little on the upside. Let's see. The current candle is going to be the decisive one. RSI almost staying flat, coming to two R chart. Look at the two R chart. See one bigger bearish candle, couple of retracement candles. Also look at the candles here. You will find bigger wicks on the upside. Price is failing to stay bullish. We have seen it showing a pullback here now once you see the price is staying below 2492 you can take a selling entry but 2484 84 88 and 24 84 86 very very good support till then if it breaks below 24 84 86 you can say that the bears will be seen in action and then we can look forward to a greater slide here which can take 24 78 79 and 24 71 72 let's see if it does show this move today uh, right now the movement is very much you can say rigid it is not willing to drop and neither willing to rise moving average is crossing over here certainly is one bearish indication stock isaac rising macd has seen good bearish move trying to converge here it is not yet crossed over rsi almost staying flat coming to three on the three hr see first of all reversal sign one bearish candle with a bigger tail see and it has formed a double bottom that is interesting to note that uh, it has formed a double bottom it is failing to break below the support zone second thing is the preceding candle is a doji candle and the current candle is started on a bearish note now very very important for it to stay below 24 84 88 and 24 84 86 very very good support will be seen till then else uh, till the time it is respects 24 84 do not treat gold as bearish this is very now here the crossover between the 20 and 50 and the divergence here certainly is a bearish sign the stock ISIC has retraced now looking downwards the MACD is still trading with divergence is staying bearish looking downwards the RSI is almost staying flat coming to four now on the four R charts yes uh, preceding two candles you should notice higher lows lower highs consolidation going on on the upside greater resistance is still 2506 on the downside greater support still 2484 this is the zone which you should be cautious and watchful of strictly be alert when gold is trading in this zone and uh, still 20 uh, this is a 20 dollar zone this is a 200 pips zone between 24 uh, 250406 to 248486 in between this zone we have to be specifically cautious it is right now placed beautifully at the median the stock stick rising macd is right now trading bearish on the four hour charts rsi is staying flat coming to the daily now interestingly on the daily charts you can see almost a double bottom is formed here at 20 484 86 and it is now trying to retrace so specifically it is only above uh, 2500 2502 you can say that the bulls will be active and then also you should wait for 250506 zone and then 251012 a uh, very very strong resistances are available here uh, for gold on the upside and downside supports are very strong look at the daily charts here 20 period moving average proving out to be a great support for the last few candles we have not seen none of the candles closing below 20 period moving average that is interesting to note it is trying to form or consolidate or form a base around this zone thus this zone is going to remain critical for gold for the next few sessions here stock ic here is looking downwards trying to stay bearish the macd is also trading 
uh, with bearishness here looking downwards the rsi is almost staying flat considering this uh, before i give you the trading levels and strategy if you also want to profit as per the uh, signals you can be part of my signals channel on telegram where we trade diverse instruments including multiple indices and commodities from across the globe reach out to me via telegram or email if you want to join this signals channel and those who are looking forward to a broker you can find the recommended broker link also in the channel and video description it offers you a self free account and if you join through the link you'll get the lowest spreads and no hidden charges and yes easier transactions and withdrawals from across the globe is what the speciality of this so do join the broker and enjoy trading now look at the uh, daily charts we have already seen the charts here considering this i will recommend you to buy gold today 24 or rather i will recommend you to buy 2502 levels expect 250506 first 2510 12 second 2516 2520 2526 and 253032 very strong resistances are available for gold on the upside possibly it is going to definitely uh get a resistance around these levels and on the downside now i will recommend you to sell here at 24 9 24 90 92 is going to be a good support below this you can expect 24 84 it below 24 84 86 it is 24 78 79 and then 24 71 72 very very good support till then if at any point point of time you see gold trading below 24 71 72 you can expect a move towards 24 50 levels very very soon take your positions accordingly take your trades accordingly let's have a look at silver Silver on the early chart, see clearly after the drop uh, trading in this retracement channel and this is a modestly bullish retracement channel on the downside support levels. See another interesting point to note here is the double bottom which it has formed here at around 2770-2780 zone which is indeed formed a very good support. Now see a drop here and a recovery now trying to retrace again possibly it could take a bigger uh, leap here we have to be watchful at the current levels yes if you see it is staying below 28 dollar levels we can initiate a selling entry but this is going to be dangerous as long as it respects 2770 you should be cautious here with the selling entries the stock i stick over bought macd rising here at the bottom crossed over trading with divergence is staying bullish looking upwards rsi is also almost staying flat coming to two hours Look at the two hour charts, look at these two candles, diminishing bullishness, price is trying to retrace. Uh, thus, once you see it is staying below 28, we can say a little retracement on the downside. It could pull the prices towards 27, 80, 70 zone again. And that should be the call for the reversal because see what has happened in uh, silver here, support here, support here, slightly lower lows, uh, rise, retracement, or you can say drop here, retracement. And then now if it breaks below 27, 70, it is going to bring enormous bears here. Stock ISIC rising, MACD is bearish trying to converge, RSI is almost staying flat. Coming to 3 hour chart, silver on the 3 hour charts, just notice the preceding candle is a swing one and diminishing bullishness is what uh, the other observation is. It could and see a little divergence from the 20 period. So there is a possibility that it could keep moving up first 28, 30, 28, 40. But first the lower price for silver has to be about 28, 20 levels. That is the point at which you can initiate a buying entry. Once you see silver is staying about 28, 20, remember the lower price has to be about 28, 20. You can expect 28, 30, 28, 40. As the next targets 28, 40 should be a good, good resistance as well. And then beyond that 28, 60, the ultimate one beyond 28, 60 is where you can say little bullishness can be expected here from silver. As long as it is respects 28, 60, we should not be treating this as bullish. Now see stock ISIC overbought here. MACD is still bearish trying to converge a bit. RSI trading with slight bullishness. Coming to 4 hour charts. See on the 4 hour charts, uh, double bottom, retracement, first bullish candle. A possibility exists that it can deliver a second bullish candle which can take the prices up. How high? Uh, see 28, 30, 40. Yes, possible. Uh, beyond this, you can say a very strong rise which can take the prices in fact towards 2860. But right now, you should not be should not be trading silver as bullish or bearish. But yes, this double bottom uh, suggests that it has formed a good it has found a good support here and it is trying to retrace a little. However, once you see it is staying below 28, uh, 2790, 2780, more bearishness will prevail here. Specifically below 2770 levels, you are going to look forward to a greater dump on the downside. Stochastic rising, MACD is bearish, RSI is almost staying flat. Coming to look at the daily charts, one important observation here is the support it has got here on the downside. Look at these four candles, multiple attempts to stay below 28, 70, 80, failing to do so. We have seen the candles closing at around 28. Now 28 has become a very good support. Also look at today what has happened, almost forming a double bottom, prices are willing to retrace. However, I can see a greater resistance at around uh, 2820 does this zone here between 2770 to 2820 is critical 
and uh, beyond 2820 when you see the lower prices above 2820 we can see little bullishness here which can take it towards 2830 40 or in fact 2860 levels and if you look at the formation here uh drop here retracement and the drop here lower highs lower lows are seen stock i stick has dropped a bit magd trading with divergence and bearishness rsi looking up first considering this i will recommend you to buy silver at 2820 when you see the lower price above 2820 you can initiate a buying entry expect 28 30 40 very very good resistances till 28 40 is available beyond that you can expect 28 60 as the next and 28 75 80 as the third beyond which sky is the limit on the upside on the downside a selling entry is recommended at 28 90 levels uh see 27 90 levels you can initiate a selling entry in fact you can sell at 28 itself but rather a safer one is at 27 90 but then 27 75 70 as the first support levels and if it breaks below 27 70 stay short we are looking forward to 27 50 27 20 levels very well take your trades accordingly like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship batch join my signals channel reach out to me for your queries related to the services do not miss to watch every day the first update with the asia and europe session that gives you fair bit of idea on what to expect from metals throughout the day take your trades accordingly see you again tomorrow have a great profitable trading day Thank